Hello guys, welcome to uh, series one, episode six of Tube Talk with William Bradford. How are you? Uh, yeah, um, first of all, I must apologize to everybody, um, especially my good friend William Durston for uh, sort of bringing in to do like a special stream and then it just ended up with me sort of counting the money. Um, I, I thought that was gonna work in my head. Um, but no, no, it didn't work at all. So I'm sorry, I do apologize. And uh, yeah, so that does not work. Okay, anyway, I've counted the money. And yes, I am, I can, I do have enough for Windows 8. Yes, uh, Windows 8. So, uh, yes. So, okay. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, oh, yes. Um, yeah. So, I do have enough for Windows 8, so that's really good, because I can't wait um, to... Uh, you know, have it on my on my computer. I'm looking very, I'm looking forward to it. Um, I also probably won't be using OBS. I'll probably be using Adobe Flash when we are live in Coda. Uh, yeah, so that that's good as well. Uh, yeah, so that that's good. Um, I hope to use some some pictures and some little um, little clips to put in my show as well to make it entertaining so that's good as well uh yeah yeah so if you in case you've forgotten what this is it's tube talk with william radford series one episode six and uh yeah this welcome to the show guys so it's the six and final episode in the series. I know I said I was going to be on a 13 episode run, but I decided 13 is a lot. Yes. So I decided to do um, six. I decided to do six instead. Uh, so, yeah. Just, just six. Yeah. So, yes. Um, Welcome to the show, guys. Uh, what have I got to say in the news? Well, England captain Gareth Southgate uh, is reportedly told Wayne Rooney, long-standing England captain and Manchester United player, that he's going to have to battle for his England place and his far ahead in the pecking order with uh, with, with Harry Kane when he gets back from injury. Jermaine Defoe is being recalled. Uh, so, yeah. And as the captain, well, there may not be a permanent England captain. captain. According to Southgate, he wants the captain for whatever the game. So everybody gets a turn at being captain. I think that's good because I, I am. Um, I think I think that's really good um, if that does happen. And yes, Rooney won't like it because I doubt he would like it. But um, yeah. Anyway, uh, do I think you guys may be wondering? Do I think Rooney will be le Rooney will be leaving? What's my opinion on this? Well, yes, I think Rooney will be leaving. The fact is, he's not getting enough regular time at Manchester United, and Jose Mourinho obviously doesn't uh, doesn't feel d doesn't want him anymore. Uh, I mean, because Zlatan Ibrahimovic, Marcus Rashford, Anthony Martial, and uh, and Jesse Lingard have all sort of took his place. So, uh, yeah, I, I mean, Lingard doesn't get much game time at all, but he only ever occasionally chooses him. Also, I'm very pleased to hear that Luke Shaw has been called back to the England squad. Now, th this is good for Shaw because... If Southgate manages to restore his confidence as an England player, hopefully Mourinho, Reid Farrier, the assistant manager, will tell Mourinho if he does perform well in the England match. Shaw has performed well in the England match. You need to call him back. 
cornerback. And hopefully, we would see Shaw in the starting 11, which would be really good. I mean, to be honest, when he played Bournemouth, he he looked a little bit rusty, like like he looked a bit a little bit a, a tiny bit not not unfit, but he it's a bit obviously that was his first really game back from proper game back from you know injury, so he's about to so he's bound to feel to look a bit like um sort of tired. Shall we say? Uh, yeah, but if Southgate manages to restore his confidence and restore Mourinho's confidence and have Mourinho's confidence in him, well, that would be very good because I think sh- I think Shaw now has a chance. Chance. Rooney, however, no. Rooney doesn't have a chance to be honest because Shaw is a Shaw is a defender. Mourinho has often hasn't quite decided what his best left back is because he's had uh, David Blind, Matteo Gavi, and uh, Antonio Valencia there a few times, all all playing in that role. So it'll it'll be interesting to see. But if Shaw does perform well for England in a left back or a left winger, well, then that will be very good. The story's confidence, Mourinho's confidence, and Southgate's confidence, and the fans' confidence, obviously. And uh, hopefully, yeah, we'd see Luke Shaw's name on the starting eleven more times. I mean, uh, Anthony Martial. I think I don't think his future is in danger now. Um, I think because he's put in some good performances the last few match. The Bournemouth match, he was quite good. Uh, he was, he was also, um, what else is he also good? And yet, yeah, toward the League Cup final, wasn't his best performance. But the Bournemouth game, he was good. And well, sadly, he hasn't been involved since then because he picked up a knock along with Wayne Rooney, who decided to collide with Phil Jones. Well done, you. You're not a defender, Wayne. I must remind you that. You're a midfielder or a striker. Okay, anyway. Yeah. Uh, Slightly bad news for United, though. Paul Pogba is injured uh, with a hamstring injury. But hopefully it's just just a little one and won't keep him on the sidelines for too long. Who to fill Pogba's place? Well, I don't really like this player but and a lot of United fans don't but he can be very handy so Maran Fellaini yes Fellaini is not the best and and I know that and Mourinho knows that he's definitely not a first choice midfielder which is understandable so but he'd be a good stand in for Pogba or get Swine Bastion Schweinsteiger back um, Bastian Schweinsteiger, or um, or maybe, or maybe call Timothy Fosu Mensa, one of the youngins. In I mean, it'd be good to see him play, because uh, he has a lot of good potential from what I've seen of him. Yeah. And talking of football, uh, I'm hoping to get a FIFA 17 for my PC for Windows 8. So yeah, that's 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 um good. Yeah. Yeah, so FIFA some team that'd be good, eh? Uh yeah, so basically, um if I do get it, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna customize the controls I have. So yeah. So yeah. Cause I know how to do that. Um would you like to know my FIFA seventeen? team when when I do career mode um, well it would be David De Gea in goal goal strikers Zlatan Ibrahimovic Anthony Martial or Henrik Mkhitaryan if Martial and Mkhitaryan were out Mata and Rashford would be in they'll always 
they would always have a contribution in some way or other, as a substitute or a starting eleven. I definitely wouldn't leave those out. Leave those two out, definitely not. In midfield, I would have the trio of Michael Carrick, Paul Pogba, and Ander Herrera. If Carrick was injured or being rested, I would give Bastian Schweinsteiger a go. If Ander Herrera was suspended, did I would probably use Timothy Fosu Mensa, probably. Probably. Yeah. And the players I would sell would be Jesse Lingard, Wayne Rooney, Maran Fellaini, Chris Smalling, uh, and... Uh, is that it? Oh, and, oh, and Darmian. Matteo Darmian as well. Because I... I I'd get rid of those players to be honest. So yes, uh, that would be um, that'd be good. So yeah, I'm planning to get. <laughs> Sorry, FIFA 17 for the PC, and uh, yeah, that should be uh, that should be good. So I'm gonna save it for that, or maybe I will keep for Christmas. I'm not quite sure, but I am planning on getting it one way or another and no i'm not going to go on those illegal sites saying oh go to the pirate bay no definitely not no those are torrent sites sites are are terrible and you could get yourselves arrested and uh yeah don't go on those websites best thing to do if you want to buy fifa 17 is download origin which is EA Games Store. If not, buy it on Amazon. Amazon, on on the official PC case. Case. Do not download it from the, you know, all torrent sites because or crack. What 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 do they call them? Crack downloads, I think. Yeah. Anyway, do not. Uh, oh, and by the way, could somebody do a PC unboxing of FIFA 17? An unboxing and then shows them putting it into the computer because I'd like to know once you get the disc do you have to put a product key do you then yeah e even though you don't use disc I think you do um, I don't know I'd have to I'd have to find out maybe my good friend uh, fatboy FIFA slash Alex Grice would know that uh, so yeah uh, okay yeah on football manager, well, I'm um, I've just started an LA Galaxy. Um, I've just started manager of LA Galaxy. Uh, I, I thought because I'd done the Premier League, I'd done United times, and I just didn't manage to succeed uh, in in the championship again. No, not that wasn't very good either. Um, and uh, oh oh I was in League One managing Bolton as well because I, I wanted to get them to the Championship and then to the Premier League but that didn't work out either. Well, in fact, no, because because what happened was I got Bolton to the playoff finals, which which was very good. Sadly, we lost in the playoffs, and I think that was a. A, a blow for the club to that was a blow for Bolton so yes um, yeah that was a bit of a blow from Bolton so I resigned and quite rightly too I mean if you you know got yourselves to the playoff finals and then you and then you and then you didn't I'm not sure you'd be able to stay oh yeah Sorry, excuse me. So I resigned before I could be pushed, basically. In fact, you know, do you want to know my history with Football Manager? I first started managing Manchester United. Now that got into a terrible game. Because I had a great start to the season. Winning games. I ended up thrashing some of the Arsenal. I thrashed them 4-0. I even thrashed Chelsea, the, the league leaders in the real Premier League, 4-0. Wow, yeah, I gave them a good thrashing. Oh, and also managed to beat City. Uh, but 
Yes. Um, I just... But then, what happened in my first term was we were beat 6-1 by, to by Tottenham Hotspur in the FA Cup. And then after that, that results just started to go downhill. Um, so, yeah, I was sacked. So, sacked as manager of United, I, I decided to go to the Championship to be Newcastle United manager and to try and get them into the Premier League. Again, a good start to the season. You know, everything was going well. Well, but then, bad performances. Once again, I was sacked. Sacked from Newcastle, and I'd seen that Bolton has sacked their manager, Phil Parkinson. They were needed as, as an interim coach just to see through the rest of the League One season. So I took the job. Job. So I was appointed on a short-term contract. So actually, my contract would have expired probably soon after the playoffs. So yeah, um, they weren't going to renew my contract anyway. I, I, I just, I just know it. So yeah, okay. Leaving Bolton, I decided to have a break from football manager for a bit, and then I decided I wanted to have. United the second attempt so I did I forgot that completely <laughs> I completely started fresh so yeah so yeah um, then that didn't work uh, and that didn't work because I had some some bad performances again which cost me my job uh yeah so um yeah um obviously things haven't gone well for me uh on on football manager the the results um <laughs> yeah so yeah Mind you, I am starting with LA Galaxy, so I'm planning to do a short-term career. Um, and I'm, yeah, so, um, yeah, so that's good. So, uh, yeah, I'm able to, uh, to, to do that. There. Um, yeah, sorry. Uh, also, uh, also, what, what the say uh, I'm I'm not quite sure now okay anyway also uh, so yeah okay now as I was saying my life things are gonna look a little bit different yeah they're gonna look a little bit different they're gonna hopefully feel a little bit different because I'm wondering if I can move this this desk to um, Behind the window, I, I'm I'm just wondering. It could be it could be possible. So instead of me facing that this way, I face that way. That way, maybe. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. Um. And also, I will talk to my friend Will Zerston because I'm wondering if he would be happy to do a series uh, on on um, on my channel uh, when where he does some gaming and I, you know, like the Durston and Radford hangout. You know, the idea is to best friends, that's me and Will Durston, you know, chat about things, he plays the games, I talk, you know, I, I mean, it's the ultimate idea, so I'll talk to him about that, not in this video, but, uh, and see what he thinks, because I'm planning to relaunch my live streams, of course, and with Photoshop, I might, I might. 
son. I might be getting into the world of animation now. Uh, yeah, I'm. What my idea is, uh, Terry the TV, and the radio, basically the the, the anime is based on. I know how to do animation on Photoshop because I've watched tutorials. Um, I know how to draw a rectangle, so what I have to do is draw that, draw on another frame, move, 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 move their position, position on frame. Now, um, okay, animation frame frames are often 20, 20, Part to third. Twenty-five to to thirty frames, uh, one second. So yeah, I'd have to look up the duration, but uh, yeah. So I'll, I'll give you more info on that when I've when I've got Photoshop, and I've got Windows Eight, and you know. But that's just an idea. Um, it may not happen. Yeah, I might be telling you about something that act may not actually happen. So, um, we'll see. So, um, I think that's it for the episode. And that's it for my series. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, and, uh, I'll be back. I'll be back sometime. I don't know when. Uh, with um, with uh, my my new live streams, uh, which will be fun, new encoder, new new sort of new channel, of course. You know, having a bit of a refresh. So, and uh, yeah, so that should be good. Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, see you. Right and uh, bye. Bye-bye.